Hello, my lovely people. I'm back with another interesting, interesting podcast. Because let me tell you, I got a member on my channel asking me about something that I'm like, I didn't I have no idea that this thing exists. But let me let me tell you why it's weird and interesting. So her name is Marja, Marja Rasarba, I know. I'm assuming you're Indian, Marja. So before this podcast and before her comments, and I was I was laying down, I was thinking like a few days ago, and also during the day, I was thinking like the reason that someone is very intuitive, like someone, like it depends, like sometimes you see someone like very intuitive and someone is like practicing their intuition and someone is like, someone's just very intuitive since they're kid like me you know like seeing things and understanding things and very aware of my past life and where I come from and like just saying weird things and it's not a surprise but I was thinking about my past life and I was thinking about how my past life actually affected all of those things like I do have a lot of past lives where I was in japan and some kind of tribal thing and i had past lives in india and i'm right now i'm indian arabic so in this lifetime and i was thinking about how like india is very spiritual and the places that i was in and how i was actually believing in past lives in my past lives how i was like spiritual in my past life but like i did not really dive into a lot of things so i'm like what i was doing i was like trying to think about like my past life i was like I'm very sure that I was a psychic, but is it like in religion? Is it something that was something that I'm like, what is it? And then I slept thinking about it. Like, like I'm, I was doing something I knew about past life. And I'm like, yeah, of course, there's like a lot of cultures and religion and, you know, places around the, the world that they believe in things like that, spirituality and past lives. It's just like in their religion, right? And it's like a common practice. So, and I was just thinking about it for like a few minutes. Okay. And then Marja came and interestingly, she she asked me a question and she was asking me about death. Can someone know their death? And I was like, of course, of course, like, of course I can know someone death. I can know someone death and all of that. And and then she, she asked me about this thing called bomb bomb leaf library and i have no idea about it like i'm clueless so i told her i'm gonna research it so i went to research it and this is why i'm laughing because i saw what it is it's like in india basically it's like um look it up on youtube like i'm i'm still researching it but it's like a bomb leaf literally a leaf that you have your stamp on and basically they write down your future and they put it there so they write down your future and there's like a basically a woman will stamp with, with like a left hand or right hand and the man is different but they have like this library right from thousands of like thousands of years and they write your future like your future right now and you know everything about like your future blockages past life and all of this and i think it's dependent on the question or something i um i have to look more because i was watching a lot of videos and each person got a different explanation and but let me let me tell you and uh so <laughs> it's funny because i will tell you how it works i right away got it and i'm like oh my god that's what i was doing in past life like because i was thinking what was i doing i was doing exactly the same thing and you write down basically the future of someone and then when you come and then they ask you a question and they look look your future from the library and you would think like oh why would my future be in that library right like you're thinking like i live in i don't know indonesia why would i go to india and go to you know this reader and like find like a a paper written about me from thousands of like thousands of years and the answer is just exactly like what what we're doing right now so it's very very funny to me because let me explain to you how it works 
So basically, when I do, when I upload a video on YouTube, right? And I, I find it very interesting. I was like, probably I was doing that on the past live because I was thinking like, I'm very sure that I was doing the same thing. But I'm like, they don't have this. They don't have this or not. I'm like, whoa, it's exactly like what we're doing right now. So basically, when I upload a video, right? And you choose or a podcast and you choose a number or you choose a bio, right? And uh, that video is timeless. That video is timeless. So I would say like that video is timeless for whenever you feel drawn to watch it. And every energy that I pick in the bio are energies of the people who are going to find this video. Even if I'm gone like 300 years from now, like in the future is going to be exactly like those YouTube videos that Bika Gar is reading. They're going to be exactly like the Balm Leaf Library. So when you come and pick a bio, I read your energy thousands of years before because I, the collective energy, you were a part of it, right? So that's how it works. That's how it works. So to answer your question, uh, Marja, it, it's kind of like tarot. So it's kind of like reading, you know? And I will say, like, if you find my reading, you're going to see that I'm like, I book cards, but I have a lot of reading without cards. I'm like, I don't need to use cards all the time. Like, yeah, that tells you that there's a lot of ways to use your intuition. An intuitive person does not need a certain practice, like a tarot or a baber or something like that. And each person, of course, like what you do in this lifetime and what you did in the past lifetime is affecting your intuition. And that goes to, you know, episode two that I posted. If you like who is voodoo about who's voodoo, you, if you go there, you're going to see what I'm talking about, about like how you block your intuition or how you create blockages. Right. So you can practice like those things and being more intuitive. But a person could be more intuitive than another person and more psychic than other person just based on their decisions in a lot of past life. Anyway, that's to answer your question. And about death, I'm going to make another podcast talking about death and past life and all of that because I feel like it's a different question. But because you associated that to the bomb reading and I just wanted to explain how it works. Anyway, have a lovely day, my lovely people. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel and bye.